So you want to clean a lot of brass. Today I'm going to show you how to use walnut and ceramic media in a tumbler to do high volume brass cleaning. I'm Paul and this is Adventures in Fabrication. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up at the end. First, we'll start off with walnut. I use a large Dillon tumbler which can clean between 1,000 and 1,500 nine millimeter cases per load. As a polish, I use new finish thin with mineral spirits. I then tumble the brass for two hours. To make things easy, I bought a timer online for about 10 bucks. When using walnut, you'll get a lot of fine dust. So you'll want to do the whole process outside, especially the separation step. You'll also want to wear a dust mask. Breathing the dust is very bad for you. The Dillon tumbler holds 12 and a half quarts, so you need a large Dillon separator to separate the media from the shells. I use the same Dillon tumbler with six pounds of ceramic media and I can typically do between 1,000 and 1,500 cases at a time, the same as, amount as with walnut. However, instead of using polish, you use some water mixed with Dawn. This acts as a lubricant and cleaning agent. However, just use enough water to moisten the ceramic and the brass. You don't want it swimming in the water or it won't tumble. Then, you add about a teaspoon of the secret ingredient, lem shine. Without this, you'll get poor results. Tumbling with ceramic takes a lot less time than walnut. I typically tumble the brass for only 15 minutes. To separate the brass and the ceramic media, I use a multi-step process. First, I pour everything into the bin then rinse it off to remove all the dirt and fouling from the tumbling process. I then pour it all into a stainless steel filter I purchased online and give it one more rinse. I separate the ceramic from the cases using the Dillon separator, the sep same separator I used with walnut. Finally, the cases are laid out on an old bed sheet to dry. It takes about a day for that to happen. Here you can see six cases that have been cleaned. They all are acceptable and work without any issues. However, if you look closely at the middle walnut case, you'll see some carbon residue still on it. So the bottom line is the ceramic does a more thorough job of cleaning. However, both are acceptable again. Here you see two cases that have been cut in half. Again, you can see that the ceramic has done a better job of cleaning the brass but it hasn't gotten it perfectly clean. If you decide to use ceramic, you need to size your media so only one piece can fit in the case at a time. If you don't, the media can and will jam inside, and it will be difficult and very time consuming to remove. For nine millimeter, I use 3 16 by 3 8 media. For 40 and 45, you'll want to use larger media. So which is best? Both media cost about the same. However, over the long run, the ceramic will be less because you clean it every time you use it. While done, on the other hand, after 10 or 15 lots, you'll need to replace it. I purchased the filter screen, so that was an extra $45 in cost if you choose to use that with ceramic. Then there is the dust and the health risks associated with walnut. You need to take that into account. I know my choice is ceramic and that is what I'll be using in the future. Now one other thing, because I'm talking about high volume cleaning, ultrasonic cleaning is not a cost or time efficient option. 
You'd need a massive cleaner to do a load of 1,000 cases, and doing 100 at a time would take forever. Also, I have a rotary tumbler with stainless steel media, and this is by far gets the, the best cleaning results. However, you again can't do high volume cleaning, and dealing with those small stainless steel media is a pain in the ass. This method is better suited for low volume precision rifle. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.